Hello, and welcome to JDTV News. We are back on the air after a semester hiatus. We know you missed us, and we missed you too. Today on the show, we have an investigation into the new school lunch, results from Capital City Classic, and more. Also, homecoming is next week, unless you're a freshman, sophomore, or junior, in which case homecoming has been canceled, and you should not dress up for the spirit days. I don't think that's true. All that coming up, this is JDTV News. It's a sweet new semester, which means you'll have new neon pink schedules. You'll also need to pick up a new amazing bus pass if you absolutely need one. You can most definitely get one from $12 for the uh, awesome attendance office in the Commons. Also, if you're still looking for a zero-hour class, we will still have space in this amazing zero-hour class of producing videos. So as you know, this is next week is homecoming. That's right, Calvin. And preparations are already underway. Last Wednesday morning, classes gathered in the assemblies um, to plan out their various homecoming strategies and schedules. In addition to discussing plans for skits and walls, classes also voted on their candidates for homecoming royalty. There are lots of ways to participate, but the one that everyone, excluding underclassmen, should be doing is dressing up for spirit days. Monday is Movie Monday, so you should dress up like your favorite movie character. Tuesday is Ski Bum Day, so get out your gear, get ready to head up the mountain, and then come to school. Wednesday is America Day. You know what to do. Throw on your red, white, and blue. Thursday is Mathletes versus Athletes. Choose which one you think you are or aren't and go for it. Friday is Theme Day, so dress up according to your class theme. This year's overall theme is Decades. Freshmen have the 50s, sophomores have the 90s, juniors have the 70s, and seniors have the 1320s. The staff have the 80s. Grab your poodle skirts and your royal crowns and scepters because we're going back in time. Gym posters will be created all next week after school, and anyone may come if they want to. The posters will be class colors, and each class will have their own part of the gym. Decorations for the walls in the commons will be held this Sunday from 8.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Judging will be based on creativity, cleanup, and how many people are willing to show up. The walls have to be the theme of the class and may not be three-dimensional. Remember that if less than 10 people show up on Sunday to make their class wall, points will be deducted from that class. The volleyball tournament will be held on Wednesday. The teams need to have at least one of each gender on the team. The, skit, the skits that will be performed the, the skits that will be performed can be of any talent. Ask your student council for more information on how to sign up. Anyways, if you're interested in joining Chamber Singers, drop by the choir room during 7th hour on Monday, January 12th, for auditions. Music reading skill and experience are not required to try out. Material for auditions will be provided. This Saturday, January 10th, we have the JDHS Talent Show at 7 p.m. in the JDHS Auditorium. Tickets cost $5 if you bring a can of food and $6 without. It is sure to be a great show and everyone should come. While students and parents eagerly logged on to power school over winter break trying to check their finals grades, IT was busy updating the URL for the website. If you haven't already noticed, the entire Juno School District website was updated earlier this year as well. Even though the link is now different, the old link to power school will still lead you to the website for now. The new link is ps.junoschools.org forward slash public. Liam and Brett recently braved the wilds of the commons to learn more about the new school lunch program and how people feel about it. Lunch. The time of the day when most students have their only chance of free time. Some students like to hang out with others during this free time, while others like to play games. But most eat lunch. So we asked for some opinions of the school lunch program here. Um, it's not terrible. Uh, they're just sort of, you know, trying to make a healthy lunch for kids, I guess. It's greatly improved from last year. I actually feel like I can eat stuff and it's actual real food for the most part. We also asked these same few students what their thoughts were on the food of this program. They're not doing a terrible job. They're, I, I think they're sort of taking it a step in the right direction. I, I do think there could be improvements. But what sort of improvements? Probably more fruit choices. There's a lot of vegetable choices, but there's not enough fruit. 
fruit is always a good thing. It helps prevent scurvy. But we also asked what else they like or would like about the lunch program here. The fat-free chocolate milk is particularly delicious. If the ketchup pump could be fixed, that would be awesome. There were some sporty things that happened over winter break, and Kyle is here today to tell us more. Kyle? Thanks, guys. we got some great stuff going on. First off, the two big things going on right now are basketball and hockey. But the big news is Capital City Classic. That was a massive basketball tournament that went down over the break. The first game was JD Boys versus Haynes, and we crushed them, 71 to 21. The next game was the JD Boys went up against a team from Nampa, Idaho. We destroyed them with a final score of 82 to 49. That same day, a girls team played against a team from Urbana, Illinois, and we trampled them with a final score of 52 to 31. The final night, though, was intense. We had two really great games, and they were awesome. First off was JDHS Boys versus the Moses Lake Chiefs. The game was incredibly close, but we lost at 59 to 58. Then there's the final girls game. Again, it was super close, but we lost to the University Illinex with a final score of 43 to 41. And that was Capital City Classic. JD totally rocked it. Those defeats at the end were our only losses. Looking ahead, don't forget to keep tuned for upcoming hockey and basketball news. And with that, back to you, Calvin. Thanks, Kyle. Moving on to the calendar, which is busy this week, starting with those hockey games. Coming up tonight, the JV Bears take on Palmer at 2.15 p.m., with the varsity dropping the puck at 8 p.m. at good old Treadwell Arena in Douglas. On Saturday the 10th, JDHS plays Palmer again at 5.15 p.m. for the JV and 7 p.m. for the varsity again at Treadwell. Also, a very big deal is the talent show kicking off at JDHS Auditorium at 7 p.m. on Saturday night. Come out and support our talented students. As you no doubt know, that, but here's another reminder, next week is homecoming week. Um, on Friday the 16th, JV boys basketball plays Wasilla at 2.45, followed by girls JV versus Wasilla at 6.15. Girls varsity plays Wasilla, and at 8, boys varsity plays Wasilla. On Saturday the 17th at 11, boys basketball JV plays Wasilla, followed by girls basketball JV versus Thunder Mountain at 4.30, and the girls varsity playing Thunder Mountain at 6.15. Boys basketball varsity plays Wasilla again at 8. Finally, the homecoming dance accumulates the next week, and it is set for 9 p.m. in the Commons. That's it for this week's calendar. Next, we have the weather, as well as the latest on Eagle Crest with Liam. Liam, how are we looking for the rest of the week? Thanks, Calvin. The weather sure is exciting this coming weekend, but even more exciting is Eagle Crest. On Eagle Crest, there was a couple of inches of snow as of the past few days, but the Black Bear Lift, which has opened as of yesterday up on the east side of the mountain, has opened for advanced and expert skiers, so get prepared for that. Moving on to the weather for this weekend, Friday, it is going to be cloudy with a slight chance of rain, highs of 37 and lows of 20. Over to Saturday, there's going to be more clouds, uh, highs of 38 and lows of 26 with a slight chance of rain. And then on Sunday, we have highs of 38, lows of 33, a higher chance of rain and a slight chance of snow. Now back to you, Hal and Cal at the news desk. Thanks, Liam. Well, that's it for, the day, for today's show. I'm Calvin. And I'm Hal. Remember to visit our website at jdhsvideo.org for previous shows on our YouTube channel and more information about the JDHS video program in the Zero Hour video production class. Also, follow us on Twitter at JDHS Video. Tune in next week for more JDTV news.